Well, hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Mansa, and today we're taking a little break from the sweet tooth, and I am going to be sharing with you how I make my signature shrimp fried rice Chinese style. Better than takeout, you would not stop eating this once you get a hang of it. So let's get started. <laughs> Welcome back friends. So here I have a little over a pound of raw shrimp. I weighed it and it was about 1.2 pounds. So just a little over one pound is enough. Now this has already been um, deveined and all the shells and tails and everything is off. It is nice and clean and we're going to go ahead and marinate this. I am going it with a little bit of the dark soy sauce. I'm already building up on that flavor and the color that I'm looking for at the end. All right. So just a little bit of that. Remember all these ingredients are very, very high in sodium. So just a little bit of some Himalayan uh, pink salt, just any type of salt that you have a little bit again goes a long way because you got to taste as you go. Okay. This is just one recipe that is so hard for me to tell you exactly what to put in. All right. So now we're going to add some black um, pepper to taste. This is really good. If you have the fresh one, you can grind it yourself. It's always, always better that way. So a little bit to taste. And also this is optional, but I like to go in with some dry chili flakes. I like to add a little bit of heat. If you don't tolerate any heat, then you can by all means skip it. Now, very important, we would need some fresh garlic. Now, I'm going to go ahead and crush this in my mortar and pestle. So we are looking for about one tablespoon of crushed garlic and that's exactly what um what those cloves of garlic yielded so one tablespoon goes into marinating our shrimp so you just want to go ahead and mix everything up and that will be it for our shrimp once we mix all of that we will go ahead and set it aside i like to do this for at least 30 minutes so you want to marinate this at least 30 minutes so anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour is fine shrimps are really tasty on their own they do not really need to be marinated overnight and all of that they don't need that it's already packed with flavors so here is our marinated shrimp into the refrigerator and go it goes and then I would move on to my next step now very important the rice that you're gonna use for your recipe must be old rice now this is a day old rice i cooked this yesterday and then i let it cool down all the way to room temperature then i put it in the refrigerator now in the morning i actually moved it into my freezer for about an hour so freezing this and refrigerating this and just using old rice is going to ensure that your rice is not going to be sticky it's going to be the perfect consistency for your fried rice i get a lot of people asking me what type of rice i use this is it right here this is the jasmine rice that i use i buy this from walmart i believe you could even get it online as well but this particular brand i really like it and for this one i cooked four cups of rice with four cups of water okay four cups of rice with four cups of water and then that yielded about eight cups of cooked rice all right so moving on in my wok i am going to be adding two tablespoons of unsalted butter again i am trying to control as much of that salt as possible because we know that soy sauce contains so much sodium even though i try to buy the low sodium it is still very salty so now we're starting off with melting our butter and what we're going to do is to try to make our scrambled eggs that's going to be our first step now my kids are allergic to eggs so um i have to find a way to make the whole family enjoy this so if you're allergic to eggs by all means skip it you're still going to have a delicious fried rice okay so now once we get that butter all melted i'm going to crack in two eggs and just go ahead and start scrambling that i did not add anything else here because um all of my spices are going to come at the end which is basically my sauces this recipe is so easy and like i said it is under 30 minutes whenever you have any leftover white rice sitting in your refrigerator think about this recipe so save it send it to your friends and family i bet you it will come handy whenever you got those um leftover rice do not throw that away it could make you a whole beautiful nice meal and always you can change the protein use any protein of your choice i use shrimp in this recipe but i by all means you can use 
chicken breast, you could even use beef, whatever you want, okay? So this is our scrambled eggs, all nicely done. And now in the same wok, I am going in with a little bit of vegetable oil, maybe about um, two tablespoons, that will be it. And now we're gonna get that up to temperature, get it all nicely warm. Then we're gonna go in with our shrimp. So here, I am starting off with our shrimp. It just came out of the refrigerator about 30 minutes um, ago. You want to take it out to come back to room temperature, okay? Very important. Then you want to go in in the hot oil and fry those shrimps. Now here, you would see that I like to move the shrimp. I like to spread it as much as possible because I'm using a wok. So I like to spread it as much as possible. And what that would do is to ensure that the shrimp fries instead of steams. I'm not trying to get too much liquid out of it. I just want it to cook a little bit just to fry. Okay, that's why you see me spreading it all around the wok. You want it to fry instead of steaming in its own broth okay so this takes about maybe three to five minutes this is raw shrimp but again you do not want to overcook your shrimp because then it's going to be tough and remember we're going to have to reintroduce it to the stir fry as we go so just keep stirring that and make sure that it is on low to medium heat so that we do not burn that fresh garlic that is in there we want to keep the integrity of that garlic and the flavor that it brings all right so now here we go this is about five minutes you could see that i just have a little bit of broth and right there and that is fire guys that right here it has so much flavor mm -mm -mm. so now i'm gonna head and take out all the shrimp including uh, including the broth out of my wok and this my friends is what it looks like now try at this point not to eat all the shrimp <laughs> It looks so good and it tastes so, so delicious. I like using fresh shrimp. If you can't find it, you could go ahead and use the cooked one too. Now, when the same wok, I am going in with more vegetable oil, just a little bit, maybe about one tablespoon. And very important, I am going in with one tablespoon of sesame seed oil. Now, this ingredient right here is powerful. So be careful when you use it. A little goes a long way. It is very, very strong but it is so necessary it's a must-have in this recipe so go find it i get mine from walmart and it's only about two dollars some very very cheap and it will last you a long time because like i said a little goes a long way now over here i'm i have about one cup of julian carrots so i just cut them in julian style just straight up and i like that pop of color and a little bit of crunch that it brings so now right here you know this happens to the best of us Guys, I forgot my onions. I remembered after the fact. That's what happens when you're trying to be the editor, the one filming, the cook, and all of that. So, forgive me. You want to add one diced um, yellow onions here together with the carrots. Do not forget like I did. I just had that, that confession to make. Because, you know, I'm a human. It's okay. Now, we've been frying these carrots for about two minutes. And now I'm going to go in and add in my rice. You could see that my rice is nice and flaky nothing is sticking to nothing all of the good things are in here so at this point i am cooking i'm cranking up my heat like you can see it right there i am cooking a medium high heat because this is the stir fry process you want to fry this rice because i remember growing up when my, whenever my mom is making fried rice when she's made during this process man you could literally smell that rice frying so it is important that you toast that rice toasting it so just keep stirring it all over the hot wok on high heat and you're gonna get what you want so about three minutes later i am reintroducing the cooked shrimp and just keep stir frying everything on that medium high heat very important so if this is your first time on this channel you are absolutely welcome my name is manta again and on this channel i do a lot of baking so a lot of sweet treats but this is one savory goodness all right guys so now it is time to add our sauces here i am going with my dark soy sauce again i made this choice because i'm going for that nice beautiful dark brown color i'm also going in with my low sodium soy sauce you could just use your regular soy sauce if you don't have the low sodium i am trying to cut down on the salt in this recipe again very important ingredient is this oyster sauce if you don't have any oyster sauce you could use fish sauce shrimp sauce any type of seafood sauce of your choice but i'm telling you it's going to elevate the flavors in this recipe again i go in with that 
this recipe is a taste as you go again I'm gonna have all the ingredients listed in the description box below for what I used but I do it a little at a time so do it by increments taste it and if you need more then you add it it's easier to fix it that way whenever you're cooking than adding a whole lot and then you can't fix it it's ruined it's bad you can't do anything again all right so keep stir frying that on medium high heat and now it is time to reintroduce our scrambled eggs mm -hmm. y'all i've been picking on it but i did not forget you see that butter right there add all of that add it all into that wok and at this point guys your home should smell so good from all of the garlic and the shrimp and all the sauces that we use in here if you guys would like to see any other recipe that is not a baking recipe also feel free i take suggestions from all of my subscribers and my viewers it does not only have to be cake i know a majority of you like the, your sweets but once in a while we need to break out of that and just bring in something different it keeps the channel more interesting and then i can also cater to that um, small community that also likes to have some meals and just something different from cake so by all means drop your comments and I would always always make sure to um, take notes now I tasted it and I needed a little bit of um, soy sauce I went in with my low sodium again to avoid it being too salty at this point everything has been mixed together and my fried rice is beyond perfect it is everything that I wanted and more as you can see it looks so gorgeous but we're not done yet at this point I went ahead and turn off my heat okay because the last ingredient you do not want to mess it up with too much heat so turn off your stove and then add in your scallions these are my chopped spring onions and I have about three-fourths of a cup here I am adding about half of it now and mixing that into the rice and the rest I just use it for garnishing because the one that I'm gonna put in the rice now might just wilt a little bit because of uh, because the rice is still very hot but then the last part that I'm gonna add at the end it's gonna stay nice and fresh especially when you're serving this right away it will wow your people it will wow your guests your family will be happy the pop of colors and you know scallions also has its own very unique flavor which i absolutely love so now this is it moment of truth this is a final result let me tell you this was one loaded rice it had shrimp in every bite just the way i like it okay again all the ingredients will be listed in the description box below feel free to share with your friends and family there is no copyright in sharing my recipe share the link invite your friends tell them about mansa queen and please don't forget to leave your comment and drop a like as well hit on that thumbs up and until i catch you in my next one y'all stay safe i love you all and enjoy the rest of your week i will catch you in the next one y'all bye